Construction established! Hello! Hey, Ben! Hello there! Uh, ha! Hi, Ben. Time for a Friday video for beer! Yes! What can I do for you? The beer we have for today is Newcastle Brown Ale. Which is in uh, Newcastle, England. Made in Newcastle, England. I think. I, uh, my aunt got me this imported from England. Ha! Ah, she, she can get it in England, I guess. Tadcaster Brewery. Tadcaster. Must be close to Newcastle. Imported by Newcastle Importers, White Plains, New York. Questions? No? Okay. So what does it have in it? 4.7% uh, volume alcohol. And, actually, I will have to admit, because, you know, I don't like to uh, keep anything from you. Uh, I've had it before. What? I'll have it again. Uh, I had to put my glasses on. Uh, where are my old contacts? So it's not the bifocal one, so I can't read anymore. And the only reason I'm wearing them is because I have six pairs that <laughs> I've left over. So I figured I'd use them. What am I going to do? Throw them away? It just means for the next... Well, I'll just put these on when I read. There. Now you know. <laughs> so, it's a brown ale with a name like Newcastle Brown. Uh, I got the bear glass today. See, it's a nice color. Hiccuping. I didn't smell it, but it tastes good. It's a good beer. It's not a lot of taste to it. Uh, not very heavy. Uh... And it's got a uh, nice mild taste to it. Nothing really hoppy or anything like that. It's just a nice, nice beer. Uh, the mustard pickles from the last video turned out pretty good. The only thing I did is, uh, I don't know what I mentioned, but I, I cut the cu cucumbers up in my food processor. So they're kind of small not compared to normal. So it comes out more kind of like a relish or something like that. Uh, like... Be good in hot dogs, though. Like a, it'd be like a hot dog relish, really. I guess. Mustardy. So, even my... Who said that? Caroline Chris said that uh, in a comment. And my dad was out yesterday, and he said, I bet you that'd be good in hot dogs. And uh, I bet you he's good. He's been around... Uh, well, he's probably been around since before there was hot dogs, so he knows that ain't around. I don't think he watches my videos. Like an insult. I got some new uh, goodies from Canex. Canex is... The army store, it's kind of like, uh, yeah, it's like a PX down in the States. So, I got this coin. And it's an Afghanistan coin. Uh, I got this one. A Canadian Armed Forces square coin. Uh, I got Canadian Army a a different Canadian Army. This one with a infantry guy on it. I got a fin in the back. Uh, another Afghanistan coin and another squirrel. I got two of those each, so I can give these a wazies. Uh, this is one I got from before. I showed this to you before. It's got one of our leopard tanks on it. And uh, this is from Shark's coin. I got a necklace and a fancy little bag there from Points Unknown. I don't know if I showed you this before, but... It's got on there, Infidel Nation, Proud Enemy of Islam. <laughs> I 
I don't know if I'm an enemy of Islam, I'm not a supporter of Islam, but... Isn't that so cute, eh? Uh, what else I got from Canex was... Uh, an RCD Blazer thing. Just in case I ever want to get another one. I have another spare one around here somewhere, and I said, uh, the chance of me finding that are pretty, pretty slim, so I better... I think these are twenty-some dollars, so they're kind of expensive, but they're kind of nice too. Uh, just to have them because they were only three dollars, I think. A couple of RCD titles and an RCD bow tie. Oop, that kind of just came apart. So it's clip-on bow tie. Uh, I've never ever tried to like tie a bow tie by myself. I so I don't know if that's easy or not. Goes around your neck, and this is the same as the RCD tie, the colors, and it's even got a little RCD spring bucks in it. I don't know if you'll be able to pick that up or not. There's one there in the blue. Are they only in the blue? I guess so. Anyways, that's what I want to get fancy and dressed up and wear a bow tie <laughs> to all my formal occasions that I go to out here. Events, functions. I also got from Canex a little peace tower pin. I think that's pretty nice. And another Afghanistan pin. And... Something else down here. What is it? Oh, no, where, where did I put that? Oh, I got some stickers for RCD. And these are nicer ones that the regiment used to have because they're color and everything. But these are the ones that go on the inside of your windows. You can see the, the letters are reversed, so they stick on the inside. So the. And last but not least. Uh, a Royal Canadian Dragoons flask. So, most of the stuff, except for that one coin I got from Canex, and you go to canex.ca, I guess. And the coins were uh, six or eight dollars, I think. The stickers were. A dollar or two dollars. Uh, the bow tie was twenty. These are expensive. They're forty-five, I think, or something like that. But they're really nice. And this will become a retirement present to somebody in the near future. So uh, you can all, s uh, do well, you can all, all stand on your toes, sit on your toes. What the hell am I trying to say? It's going to become a gift. So it's somebody retiring from the RCD in the near future. Ah. So not everybody, just somebody in the near future. Yeah. Cheers. But it's rather nice. And the Canex Axel has all the other units too. Uh, Royal Canadian Regiment, Patricia's Patricia Canadian Lady Infantry, Royal 22nd Regiment, Strathcona's, RCD, Artillery, Engineers, they have all that stuff. So check it out. Prices are, well, everything's expensive now. What are you going to do? So that was a good beer. Newcastle Brown. I'm watching the golf from Australia. It's different company, countries playing against each other or uh, something. I don't know. It was snowing yesterday for the first time. And it snowed earlier today. But it's not now. It's nothing staying around, so it's all right. The dog is lazy. The cat is whining. Excuse me. I've got a beer in me. Uh, I think that's about all. What the hell's going on in Dakota anyway? North Dakota? South Dakota? What the hell's going on out there anyway? Either the natives are going crazy or an oil company is doing something that they shouldn't have or it's an all a big conspiracy. But it seems to be a big thing, although I never hear anything about it on the news. So I don't know who to believe. I've seen things on Facebook saying that it's not anything to do with the pipeline and it's not on their land and... So I don't know who to believe, and I'd like to believe both sides. I'm all for native rights, and I'm all for economic 
Uh, goodies. Uh, cheaper gas. <laughs> so, I hope they get that settled out. Anyway, it seems like it's always coming up on Facebook, especially. Anyway, something's going on out there. And I'll get sorted out. Uh, we have our Grey Cup uh, Sunday. Uh, and that's like our Super Bowl. For you guys that don't know the Grey Cup, it's our Canadian Football League uh, finals. Calgary and Ottawa. Calgary Stampeders, Ottawa Red Blacks. And if you don't know where the, uh, where they got the name Red Blacks for the Ottawa Red Blacks, then join the rest of the nation because I don't think anybody knows. I'm sure somebody knows. But. So that's on Sunday. So we might have a party here, eh? Sunday night, Ben? Hey, drink some beers? Eat some chili? Chicken wings. He's all for it. Come on around. That's it for today. Uh, good beer. Uh, winter is coming, or winter is here, and keep your stick on the ice, as they say. And this is Chris. Out. Peace. Uh, anything else, Ben? And shut up. You've been talking too much all along. Connection! Abort it!